Hey guys, it's Car Guy 11 I'm in the garage with my C7 Corvette, and today I want to go over a safety feature the C7 Corvettes have that I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with, but I actually get a lot of questions about it. What to do if your battery is dead, either in your key fob or in the vehicle itself. We're going to go over that today, and if you guys have any questions, please feel free to contact me on Instagram, Facebook, or I have a email address in the description of the videos. I have no problem answering these questions, but I do get this relatively frequently, and I just want to point these things out. What to do if the battery is dead and you can't gain access to your vehicle. So it's spring, and I just got done uncovering my C7 from its winter storage in my garage, and I did have the battery tender also hooked up all winter. But you know, a lot of times things happen, the power goes out, the plug gets dislodged from the connector, something happens where the vehicle battery dies. And today I'm gonna to show you how to gain entrance into your C7 if your key battery is dead or more importantly, the vehicle battery is dead. So right now I'm just gonna lock the vehicle pretending it's locked from storage. And say the battery has died in this position, you would not be able to gain access because all of the door handles and the tailgate is power operated. So you would not be able to do the door handle release. So let me show you step-by-step step what to do. Now, the first thing, the key fob itself has a physical key in it. You just press the button at the end of the key and pull out the physical key, which you'll see here. Then you're going to come to the back of the vehicle where the license plate is. And there is actually a keyhole under here where you're going to place that physical key and you're just going to give it a turn. Now be aware the alarm may go off because again, my vehicle has battery power. I'm just gonna hit the unlock button to disarm it. But if you heard the click, the hatch now opened up, even though the vehicle was locked. Okay, step two. This is a little bit hidden, but there is a pull strap on the left, the driver's side of the vehicle. If you can see right here with the car and the door symbol on it. This strap right here is actually gonna open up your driver's side door. You do not have to climb through the back and open up the door. A lot of people think that, but no, there's an actual little strap right here. I'm gonna give it a pull. And if you heard that, I pulled the strap right here. It actually opened the door. Whoop, actually, let me pull it one more time. All right, now the door is open. Now, if the vehicle battery is dead, of course, you're gonna have to replace the battery or charge up the battery. And you guys know that the battery is stored under the floor on the passenger side right here. So that's, what, that's how you're gonna handle that. Now, if it's just your key fob that's dead, you're gonna take your physical key fob and place it in the slot in the steering column of the vehicle. Then it will start up your Corvette even if your key fob is dead. Also, I want to show you there is an emergency release for your inside door handles. If an emergency, you cannot access the electronic buttons here on the passenger side or the driver's side, there is that little plastic red handle that you lift and it will open up the door. And these handles are on the driver's side and the passenger side. So this is an important safety feature if you're in an accident and something cuts power to your Corvette and you have to manually get out. All right, so hopefully that was helpful to some of you. Please share it with your Corvette friends so they are safe when driving it. Uh, I One thing left to do, 
a nice cold start from almost four months in storage. Let's go do that. Thanks for watching, guys. Give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't. Happy driving season, and I'll see you in the next video.